All right, here we go. I'm going to power it on and see if... The, really, I'm just testing to see if my rat's nest of power worked at all. So here we go. Hold on to your butts. Oh, my God. All right. They are all lit up. <laughs> yes! Victory! <laughs>Fellow makers, welcome down to the shop. I'm Bill, and we are live from the shop here in our lovely basement. Today, I've got a neat project that we're working on. We're, of course, hanging out with our prop tarts in the chat on uh, Twitch, uh, doing some live streaming today. And uh, I, I want to make something cool for BlizzCon. I won't be able to make a whole costume, but a while ago, uh, we live streamed drawing some blueprints of some World of Warcraft weapons. So I've got the Hand of Ragnaros. I want to make this big spiky looking mace thing. But I want it to glow with lights. So, I made a spike here. This is my test spike. This is an upholstery foam. I want to be able to bonk people with it. I need a way to light this up. I talked to our friends over at Adafruit. They're awesome. They hooked us up with some electronics for this project and a couple other ones so look forward to those coming out soon uh, and then I also talked to my twin brother he is the scientist I'm the artist he's the scientist he also knows how to write code so he came over the other day and we figured out all of the lights we have all this stuff right here but I also recorded him so why don't we have him take it away and explain what we've done with all of these wires who are you? Uh, I'm Rob Duran yay what do you have there? What we have here is an Arduino Uno connected to a NeoPixel, a NeoPixel Jewel. We also have a uh, cheap flashlight that we're using as a power source. The Arduino Uno contains all the code that we need to power our NeoPixel to control it. The goal here is to get a pulsing effect of light of a particular color. We want something in an orange. This is going to be mobile, it'll be in a prop. So what we've done is we've taken a cheap flashlight that we can easily turn the power on and off. It's got three batteries. It'll supply 4.5 volts, which is really good for powering an Arduino and for powering our NeoPixels. They'll take up to five volts. What we've done is use the Uno for prototyping purposes. We'll move on to a Trinket, a Trinket Pro, I believe for uh, actual incorporation into the prop. We've written code to pulse the light after initializing our fancy pixel, uh, NeoPixel jewel. The code loops itself over and over again, dimming and brightening our lights. And our goal is to put several of these into the hand of, hand of Ragnaros Sulfurus and to have it glow and fade as if it's you know burning with some kind of elemental energy. Again, we'll add a few different zones to this, and they'll kind of pulse and fade uh, a little irregularly with each other, so it's not just one big giant pulse. And uh, that will all be controlled by a different code, uh, pushing out to, to different pins on the Arduino. So there's our thing. We got our Arduino. We have our NeoPixel lights. We've got wires and everything. The main thing I need to do today is wire all of these lights together especially the power, so that then we can hook them all up to our little guy here. We've got the little NeoPixel, or uh, this is the Arduino uh, Pro Trinket. So we're going to hook up our lights to this. But all of these power cables are, there's just a lot of them. So we're going to wire them all together, hopefully, and then we'll hook them up to the board, and again, hopefully they work. A couple disclaimers. One, I haven't done a lot of electronics. So if I'm sort of ham-fisting my way through this, uh, that's why. Uh, and also, I know that the soldering iron tip I have is completely ruined. I ruined it. I have a new one on the way. So if you see me bumbling through some soldering, that's why. So please be kind in the comments. All right, let's start soldering some power together. The setup that we have here, other than our electronics, is just wiring all of these, these are the NeoPixel Jewel lights. And they're each going to go to one of these spikes. So I've sort of loosely laid them out. You can see I've got plenty of wire here. The main thing I need to do is to connect the power of all of these together so that they can all get fed into our power source. So uh, they're all going to chill there for a bit. I've got my little helping hands here. I've got a couple of wires that I've run through here. And I'm going to solder 
all of my lights to this so that they will all run off of the power. So I'll poke them through the back like so. Boop, boop. And then I will solder, the, solder them to these wires here so that they'll all be run in parallel and then this will go over to my power source. Uh, like that. So if I flip this over, those wires can be folded over here and then they will be soldered down with their their buddies. Just you just stay put there, little guy. Yep, oh, stay put. Perfect. This is one of my other super beat up soldering irons. I have a new one on the way. New soldering iron tips on the way, but uh I will make do with what I have here. Put a little bit of soldering iron on there. And there we go. That's all nice and connected. We'll do that on the other one. Get down on there. There we go. All right, now I just need to do that seven more times. Hooray! Here we go, we've got all of our wires uh, connected in parallel, so that's what the top of it looks. The white ones are gonna go to data, so we'll deal with those later. And now I wanna run some wires off of here so I can connect all of these to the same power source. So I'll do the same thing and just uh, sneak through here. So there's the black wire sneaking through there, and the red one, hopefully, I will be able to do on the first try. Let's do that. There you go. Take that. We'll just solder those down and then we'll have a way to connect all of these things to the power source. Everything's wired up. We should be able to power them with these two wires. Victory! Alright, here we go. I'm going to power it on and see if... The, really, I'm just testing to see if my rat's nest of power worked at all. So here we go. Hold on to your butts. Oh my god, all right, they are all lit up. <laughs> yes! Victory! <laughs> they are all pulsing the same. I can't even look at that, it's so bright. They are all pulsing the same and they are all lit up. And nothing seems to be janky or flickery, which means I think I soldered it pretty well. <laughs> yes, all right, now I'm gonna swap that over to these LEDs. Uh, to their, their things and see if they pull separately. They should, they should. So I've moved uh, all of the data uh, wires into their respective pins on the Arduino. Eventually these will be soldered into the little guy here. But, here we go. We're gonna turn this on and see if this works. Okay, they all lit up. Nope, this one didn't light up. Hold on. I do know that if the data doesn't uh, connect, then it won't turn on. Oh, that's these are just these are just kind of loose. They are all pulsing, doing their crazy pulsing at uh, different rates. So cool. Let's t take a look over here. Look at that. All right. So I clearly have to still fix whatever's going on with this one. I'm gonna troubleshoot that later because uh, honestly, I'm pretty <laughs> impressed with what we've accomplished so far today. I'm very excited. Here's our whole thing. Uh, th some things were goofed up a little bit. One of these pins doesn't seem to be working in the second pin, so I took two of these and put them in the third pin. And those lights will face opposite sides. These spikes that go in and out, and they'll pulse the same. No one will know. That's great. Now all of these white wires can get soldered down to their respective places on this little guy, the little tr uh, Trinket Pro. And I can upload the code to that. I've got the power. Good to go. And that's our little thing here. Uh, now I just have to build a maze for all of this to go in. <laughs> hey gang, thanks so much for hanging out with us today in the shop and watching me bum bumble my way through uh, some electronics here. I am really excited. This is a whole new world for me. Um, doing this cool, glowy, pulsy, lighty thing. I want to thank my brother Rob very much for helping out with the... Uh, the coding and uh, getting some of the wiring done and I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us on Twitch we do the from the shop streams every Tuesday at noon Pacific come join us come hang out we've got a bunch of our regulars in there today uh, providing a bunch of color commentary and even a little bit of helpful advice 
So until the next live stream, I hope you guys try something new with your prop and costume making. Uh, expand your horizons and have a good time. I will see you all next live stream. Toodaloo!